Hi, we're back again. We're going to take a brief look at work and we're going to solve three work problems. Work is done when a force moves through a distance and that is important. You can apply a force to something all day long, but no work is done unless the force actually moves through a distance. The equation for work, work is simply force times distance. Now, if you recall in previous lessons, we introduced something called the magic triangle that helped us rearrange equations to solve for the missing variable. In this case, using the work equation, we can use that magic triangle again. If we're given a force and a distance, we should be able to calculate a work. If we're given a distance and work, we should be able to calculate force. And if we're given work and force, we should be able to calculate distance. That's why we use that magic triangle. It just helps you get around using a little bit of algebra. It's a quick and easy way to help you remember how to rearrange an equation. So, let's take a look at three problems. In the first problem, we're going to calculate the work done by a force that moves through a distance. In the second problem, we're going to calculate the distance an object moves when a certain amount of work is done by a particular force. And in the third problem, we're going to be calculating force, applied force, that does a particular amount of work moving an object a particular distance. So we're going to calculate three things, work, distance, and force. Three separate problems. Well, let's go ahead and set the first problem up. The first problem gives us a force of 200 newtons and a distance of 10 meters asked us to calculate the work. And we know that work equals force times distance. So we can set that problem up. Work equals force times distance. Next step, work equals the force and we're given 200 newtons times the distance, and the distance is 10 meters. We can calculate that. 200 times 10 gives us 2,000 newton meters. Nothing factors out here. So the basic unit for calculating work is a newton meter, which, by the way, can be expressed as a joule. The joule, spelled J-O-U-L-E, is a unit of work. It's also, by the way, a unit of energy, and that joule is equal to one newton meter. One joule equals one newton meter. So whenever you hear the term joule, you know that we're also talking about a newton meter, which is a force times a distance. So the work done in the first problem is 2,000 newton meters or 2,000 joules. In the next problem, we're going to calculate distance and we're given the work done and we're given the force. Distance is equal to work divided by force. Distance is equal to work divided by force. Distance is equal to work divided by force. Well, we can plug some numbers in here. The work is 3,000 joules. And the force that's given is 200 newtons. When we solve this problem, we wind up with 3,000 divided by 200. That gives us 15. And the unit is going to be meters. And you might ask yourself, why is it meters? Why isn't it joules per newton? Well, keep in mind that that joule is really a newton meter. And so the newton, you can see right here, factors out, leaving meters in our answer. So the answer for the second problem is 15 meters. 
if a force of 200 newtons is applied to an object to move it through 15 meters, 3,000 joules of work will be done. All right, next problem. We're going to calculate force. In this problem, to calculate force, we know that force equals work divided by distance. Force equals work divided by distance. The work done here is given. It's 600 joules. And the distance is 80 meters. So, 600 divided by 80, that works out to 7.5. And let's take a look at the unit. The unit is going to be the force unit. We can expect it to work out into the unit of newtons, which is a force. Let's see why. Remember that that joule is really a newton meter. And so meters is going to factor out and that newton comes down here so that our answer, the force, is 7.5 newtons. So what we're saying here is if you apply a force of 7.5 newtons to this cart and move it 80 meters, 600 joules of work is done. So here's the situation. We can calculate three things using this equation. We can calculate the work done. Work is force times distance. We can calculate distance. Distance being work divided by force. And we can also calculate force if we're given a work in a distance. Force is work divided by distance. Force is work divided by distance. Now another thing that you'll notice here is this little cart that we're talking about. We can calculate the work done. We can calculate the distance it's moved given a particular force doing a certain amount of work. We can calculate the force that's applied to do 600 joules of work and move the cart through 80 meters. And in each of these situations, you notice that it makes no difference what the mass of the cart is. All we're concerned about in each of these situations is force, work, and distance. Mass is not part of this equation. So, in summary, work is done only when a force actually moves through a distance. The equation for work, work is equal to force times distance. And given this equation, giving us some, some information, work, force, or distance, we should be able to rearrange it to calculate any one of these three variables. Work is force times distance. Distance is work divided by force. And force is work divided by distance.